think today I'm going to be working on getting this thing set up on the rotisserie. <clears throat> so, uh, to do that I have to get it off this cart. And then to get it off the cart I need to get it on the lift. And then when it's on the lift I need to then get it uh, in the air to match the start height of the rotisserie. And then I need to weld adapters, which I'm not sure I have the material to do. We're going to find out onto the bumper mounts. So that's the plan anyway. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'll show you what I'm doing down here. You can take a quick look at this metal here. It's pretty sweet. It has an inhibitor on it now, a rust inhibitor. But uh, I'll have to take that off. These are braze, brass braze here. I'll have to take the inhibitor off before I prime it. You can see there's some seam sealers still left in here, which I'll get out with various tools. And then some in the wheel well. The, the chemical started to take it off, but didn't do such a great job everywhere, but almost everywhere. It's not bad. So to start, I can raise the front of the jack to touch the jack points on the front, but the rear's on the cart, so I've got a little bit of an issue. Thinking about jacking up the rear uh, to get the rear off the cart, raising the lift to bring those pads to touch the chassis, pulling the cart out, and then putting the whole thing on the lift, and then raising it. So that's the first plan. This is on like a frame rail here. It's kind of dark, but that's on a frame rail. So uh, let's give it a shot. This actually worked. It took some finagling. I can't get the cart out because it hits the front, but I was able to move the cart around with it in the air and then remove that to get that under. It might not be even from the start, but I can make it even once I get the cart out. I see another problem actually in the wings, but we'll find out in a sec. All right, it's in the air. Uh, it's not level yet, so it's got to come back down. I got to jack up the rear end again. I got to put the spacers in just to make it level. The only reason we care about that right now is because we're going to be modifying the uh, the ends of the rotisserie to adapt to the bumper mounts here, which go in and bolt in. All right, wicked. It's up <clears throat> now. Oh shit! I got to make space to get this stuff around. Start figuring out. I guess the back first. That'll be easier. Start figuring this out. I'll mount the bumper mounts in the back. Um, I'm probably gonna chop this, chop the angle off it, tack it up to the mount. Let's find out. So I bolted these guys in, and right now the face of the rotisserie is at an angle. I think they assume you're gonna buy like two inch square tubing and make your own thing, but I'm not. I'm just gonna cut this. I wanna to try to leave as much length here as I can so you can like get in between the rotisserie and the car if you have to, but I'm gonna cut this square, wire brush this, weld it, see what happens. So I got the welder plugged in, I got everything kind of prepped. Just got, I figured I'm just going to do this manually. Um, there's enough clay and all this stuff that I think I can do it. I'm just going to tack it at first. There you go. See what that does.
one thing I just realized is putting this thing on with both of these tacks is going to suck. Back in a moment. There was some hammering and smashing. And now, so this distance, I want to keep the pivot point the same front and rear, right? So you can't have like the back pushed over. I'm learning about this whole setup. Um, so I matched the length here. This is tacked. That's on but not tacked. So now we're level. We're not level. We will be level in a minute. I gotta figure that piece out. So we'll level it and then uh, weld it. And then I can move on to the front. This thing is super cool. I'm learning how to adjust this. It's got like a rough adjustment without the hydraulic and you can like unweight the car, pull this up. I'm pretty tall so I'll probably even raise it more. And then once you get your initial rough point set, you have the whole range of the jack. So right now I'm like middle, middle, and I don't think it's gonna be really high enough for me. So I'll adjust it later. Oh, why are we focusing like that? Here we go. So that's done. Um, I've got both of those welded on. It is level now. These bolts are tight, so when you put it on its side, it won't slide off. So I think the back is done right now, this setup. Now, so there's all these problems with this little space that I'm in. It's not really, I mean, it's a great space, but it's small for doing a project like this. The stairs are kind of in my way um, from moving this further. And uh, I can't raise the car now because this apparatus is stuck to it. So I can't raise it and then roll that one under to get it out. So I have to move move everything, I think, to get a lane open to get it out. Another funny situation here is that I only have one 220 uh, plug, and it's for the lift, but the welder uses it, so I have to climb up a ladder every time I want to plug or plug in. And if I lower the lift too much to weld this, I have to then go do the swap, tap it up, put it down again. It's been learning experience. This is like rigging. It's kind of exciting and interesting, but also it's hot. I'm tired. So, um, all right. So I will, uh, swing that front one around and see what we got because I'm using these to, uh, attach this. I'm going to weld directly. Sadly, it means I'm going to have to buy the, uh, DTM aluminum ones. I know it's very sad. So the back's done, car's level, front to back. Uh, now this guy, I'm gonna match that rough adjustment I talked about here. And to do that, you take this pin out, and you just, um, oh wait, that was a lie. You take this pin out, and you pull it up to whatever hole you want, stick the pin in. But you don't, it doesn't just fall, you have to like take the pin out, screw it up with the screw, and then put the pin in. It's kind of cool, it's actually very safe. And then when you raise this with the jack, this thing has a little roller. It's really nice. It's so it like le levers in just slightly because of the load, but the roller handles the load. Really nice setup. I know I've talked about that a lot, but it's cool. We got a launch party down here, but uh, this thing's on. Took a while. I welded uh, everything up. Now I have to put the center bar on and across, and then we can roll it. Just supports it from nose diving. That's it. It's in the air. Now uh, only thousands of hours of work left to go.